Hey everybody, Mark looking out here from Redline Conditioning and in today's video I want to go over the arcing method when it comes to jumping over the bar uh, for the pair test but in particular how to reduce the chance of injury when you land. Now if you're not familiar with the arcing method this is where you're jumping over the bar and you spin over top. Now where the chance of injury occurs is how the foot lands and how it's positioned. When we incorporate the falls into the mix here, it's very common that when people land, they want to try to land facing sideways. Even though our body is twisting this way, they still want to face the direction that they jump over. Now, if, you're, if you don't have strong ankles or strong knees, or if you're just not positioned right, landing sideways, there's a greater chance of twisting through the knee, especially if the body continues to rotate this way. So what happens is the, le the leg, the foot gets locked into the ground. So to avoid that potential of injury, whether it's in the knees or even just the rolling of the ankle, we want to make sure that we land with the foot facing either at the bar or at least in the direction of the bar. So I demonstrate the arcing jump again and when I land, I have my foot facing the bar versus landing facing sideways because when I land facing the bar it allows me to continue the rotation of my body as I go over top so that then means when I go into my fall I don't have to face the direction that I was jumping over so if I am jumping and facing my right if I have my foot pointing at the bar I'll then end up facing the opposite direction and there's nothing wrong with that Nothing says that if I'm facing this way that I have to face that way when I land. So if I allow the rotation to happen, I'll end up facing the other way. It's going to take pressure off the knee. It's going to take pressure off of the ankle. And the last thing that you want to happen is to get injured. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can always email me.